Let's begin this one by reading the question. Given that all the choices are accurate, okay, let's stop there. So we don't have to assess this for accuracy. We know all of these are accurate. Which one echoes a central point the writer makes about ghost signs? So it's giving us specific instructions. It wants us to find the answer choice that echoes a central point about ghost signs. So what's great about these is you don't have to assess them for punctuation, for grammar. We're not looking for the most concise answer. We're merely trying to answer this question. So in a lot of ways, this is quite simple. We just need to follow instructions and make sure that we're answering the question at hand and not some other question or maybe something that we think it's asking, but it's not. So the most important part is to read the question, understand what it's asking, and then we're armed with the tools that we need to go about answering these questions correctly. Okay, so how would we understand what the central point the writer is making? If you are reading for understanding or comprehension at this point, you probably already have a good understanding. But just in case you weren't, let's go up to the top and let's see what the author says about ghost signs. Maybe you're not sure what ghost signs are. Okay, so it says ghost signs are remnants, right? Remnants of outdoor advertisements from a bygone era. So what they're saying is ghost signs were signs up a while ago and they didn't bother to take them down. And so over the years, they've dilapidated. Um, so there are weather beaten billboards, some have faded and they're from a time past. So the writer here enjoys searching for them. So the writer searches for these signs. It's sort of a hobby of his. Okay, so as I go back down, we're talking about a specific sign. It says, I collect go signs. I had made the same drive countless times before, but I had never noticed the sign. So he's looking for a specific sign. And then he says, then there it was, an ad for Joe's Cafe, perched atop a metal pole, which was upright under some vines. Now we know that this is true, it was upright because it says all of these are accurate, but we want one that echoes a central point about go signs. Now was the fact that it was upright echoing any information about go signs? No. Okay, how about this? Was not what interested me. Well, it is what interested him. He was actually looking for it, so we know that one's inaccurate. Might have been wood. Again, probably true, but definitely doesn't echo anything about ghost signs. How about was disappearing? Right, it was disappearing. Remember, it was from a bygone era, and so everyone forgot about it, and now it's under some vines, and so that's why it took him a long time to find it. Okay, so that would be answer choice D. So again, when we approach questions like these, um, they usually start off with given they're all accurate, and then it has some specific instructions. Just make sure you understand the instructions really well and know what information you are expected to know. Because in order to answer this, I had to go up a couple paragraphs through the passage if I didn't know what ghost signs were, and then I needed to understand what was going on in the paragraph before it so I could know he was looking for a particular sign that was a little bit hard to find. Okay, if you do this for every type of question, uh, every type of, uh, for every one of these types of questions, uh, then you're gonna get these right. Just make sure you follow the instructions as written. Thank you.